Hello everyone, my name is Prototype, and welcome back to another Clash Royale video. Today is going to be yet another top 5. I think you guys liked the last one, and honestly, I loved to make it. So we're going to go ahead and bring back another one. Now today's top 5 is actually going to be the top 5 troops, or even defenses, that should be added to the game. Of course, most of these will be coming from Clash of Clans. They aren't really like pure ideas that are brand new. They are things that could be transferred from Clash of Clans, but also it kind of makes you think about some possible things that might be included in the game in the future, and we could actually build off of these things for some future ideas. Now these aren't really in any particular order, these are just kind of some things that I thought of. So with that being said, we're going to go ahead and get right into this top 5. Now the first thing that we're going to talk about, number 5, is of course the dragon. Now we do have a baby dragon, which kind of leads us to think that um, maybe there will be another dragon in the future considering they named it the baby dragon instead of just the dragon. Now this could be the regular class of clans design, the purple dragon instead of the green one that we currently have in the game. The main thing is just the color scheme difference and of course the name, considering the baby dragon is something completely different from the dragon itself. Now I wouldn't say this is complete solid evidence, but it is very very cool knowing that they possibly will be putting this in in the future and we actually do have some fairly good evidence towards it. Now number four, we have healers or heal spells. Now currently we don't have anything in the game that can actually regenerate health. We do have the poison spell which slowly lowers the health, so it'd be pretty simple for them just to reverse that. Instead of lowering the health, it could easily just regenerate the health. Now this might be slightly overpowered uh, considering being able to regenerate health maybe on your tower would be pretty, pretty overpowered. Um, so maybe they could change it so that it's only for troops. Maybe they could change it so that the healers, you know, would only target troops and then the heal spells would be the troops and the towers. I don't know. They would just have to work out some of the balancing issues there. Uh, maybe some strategies you could use would be Golem Healer or Balloon Healer since those are very, very powerful troops. Having the healer behind them would be incredibly strong. So there's quite a few things you could do with these healers and the heal spells. It just kind of has to be something that they'd play around with a little bit and uh, maybe they're already actually doing that and we just don't know about it yet. All right, now number three, we do have the Lava Hound, which I think is something that people have been wanting to see in Clash Royale. It would be really, really cool to have and honestly, it could have the same mechanics as the Golem. For those of you guys that don't really know how it works in Clash of Clans, and correct me if I'm wrong because I don't actually play Clash of Clans, but but I believe that when the Lava Hound is taken out, there's an explosion and it becomes, I think, six Lava Pups, which is similar to how the Golem is with the Golemites. Although instead of it being a ground troop like the Golem is, it would be an air troop. This would be a little bit better balanced considering there's only one ground troop that has the same mechanics as the Golem. So it'd be kind of cool just to have some more uh, variety in that area. Now, of course, since it is similar to the Golem, the Golem, I believe, is eight elixir. And the Lava Hound would have to be just as expensive, if not maybe a little bit less, maybe a little bit more. Uh, it'd be kind of crazy once you start getting up to that range of about 8 Elixir where the Golem is at right now. Like I said about the healers, it's just something that they're going to have to kind of experiment with, test and see what works best, kind of just play around with it and see how they want to implement it into the game, if they even will. Alright boys, now we are on number 2, which is the air defense. Now this is kind of strange, uh, we do have quite a few defenses, there's of course the Tesla, the Bomber, the uh, Inferno Tower, Expo, you know, all that stuff, but we do not have anything that specifically targets air only. We do have the bomb tower, which only can target um, ground towers, and to make up for that um, lack of targeting, it does have quite a bit of health, so maybe the air defense could be that same way, but it's kind of tough to tell how they would do it exactly. Now the range would have to be kind of interesting, uh, it's kind of tough to figure that out because um, if it had really, really long range, then it might be quite a bit overpowered, uh, depending on how you would actually have the damage being put out. Personally, I would prefer to see it being a splash damage tower. I think that would be great. It could take down like minion hordes, and then if you had balloons, it wouldn't be super overpowered against them. It'd be more of just like a, uh, a general um, squishy groups troop defense, I guess. Now we do have the air sweeper in Clash of Clans, and that would be very, very overpowered if they put that into Clash Royale, considering there's only one way that you can go to attack the tower. There's no way you could get around the air sweeper and out of its um, direction. Supercell, if you watch this, never do that. Please never do that. That would be so, so terrible. It'd be a horrible decision. It'd be worse than the expo. Now, if you were to put the air defense behind your tower, then it might be a little bit overpowered. They would have to work a little bit on the placement with that. Um, that kind of comes into play when you have the range factor. If you were to put it behind your tower, then technically it would never get hurt by anything, and it could just easily take out everything that was hitting the tower if it had too long of a range. Now, if that were the case where you could just set it behind your towers, it might promote the use of lightning spells or rocket cards, um, just so you can take them out a little bit better without having to worry about them 
them. You can't really take them out with troops itself, so you might have to use the lightning or the rocket. Alright guys, so now on to the very, very last thing that I want to talk about in this video. Number one is the heroes. I'm sure you guys were expecting to see this throughout the whole video. You're like, when is he going to say it? Is he going to say it at all? You know, and the heroes I'm talking about are, of course, the Barbarian King, the Archer Queen, and the Grand Warden from Clash of Clans. It'd be kind of cool if we saw them brought into this game since, of course, this game is based on the Clash universe. Now, of course, they wouldn't just have to stick to these. They might do new heroes altogether. Um, they would definitely have to alter some of the abilities that come along with the Barbarian King, the Archer Queen, and the Grand Warden. Now, the Grand Warden's ability is actually really cool in Clash of Clans. It actually um, gives your other troops bonus health, and then for a small period of time, you can actually set it to make your other troops completely invincible. Now this could be very overpowered if there wasn't some kind of counter in Clash Royale. So we would have to work on balancing a little bit. They might have to alter the abilities altogether. But I think it would be really, really cool if you just had a troop that you could activate its ability on command. Now of course the Prince has its little charging ability which happens after it takes a few steps. And of course the Witch can spawn skeletons with a little time interval between each spawn. So those things are kind of uh, preset abilities that are just going along with the troop itself. But being able to manually do an ability it would be something that is very cool. Um, it would add a little bit more strategy to the game and a little bit more um, depth to the game as well. Now that's going to be all for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this top 5. Let me know which of these troops or towers you guys want to see implemented to the game the most. It's going to be really crazy if some of these things actually get put into the game. I think it would be really, really cool to see some new troops, even though we literally just saw some. All of those were brand new to Clash Royale, and it'll be nice to see something a little bit more coming from Clash of Clans. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that like button and also the subscribe button for more top fives. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.